What is the quicker, snappier, easier to use phone? The Xiaomi Mi 9 or the Huawei P30 Pro? The Xiaomi Mi 9 is using the Snapdragon 855 processor, the best from Snapdragon at the moment, a brand new chipset. Huawei is using the Kirin 980 in the P30 series this year. That's not a new chip, it's been around for a while, we've seen it in the Mate 20 series, but they both use a 7 nanometer process, so let's see how they fare against each other. The first test we're going to do is an unlocking test, unlocking the phone 10 times using the most common unlocking method. Both of these phones are rocking underscreen fingerprint sensors and that is probably the method that most people are gonna use most often to unlock the phones. Now the speed of unlocking will rely heavily upon the sensor under those screens and also the processor as well. Well there you have it, that is an absolute draw. The time difference between these two phones was literally zero. Let's see how both of these phones do on the Antutu benchmark app. This is going to test the processors of the phones. This doesn't really tell you much about real world usage as you would use it on a daily basis. However, it is a good test just to show how powerful the processors are. Maybe if you're gaming or anything like that, it's gonna show which one can handle processor intensive apps the best. When the tests are finished, I'll just take a quick temperature reading to see which one of these processors can best handle this benchmark. And there you have it, the Xiaomi Mi 9 has finished first before the Huawei 376,000. That is a big score. The Snapdragon 855 in this phone is a powerful beast. And the Huawei has finished too, 275,000. That is low. I'm actually quite surprised. If you do go by benchmarks at all, the Huawei has just been absolutely punished by the Xiaomi. This is not even a contest. And look, the Huawei is running hotter than the Xiaomi as well. So what we can take from this is that that Snapdragon is a better chip. Now for the app opening test. Again, this isn't exactly how you're gonna use the phone day to day in real life but it just shows you how the phone is gonna handle opening lots of apps at the same time when you're multitasking, when you're going through apps. Now, the Huawei comes with eight gigabytes of RAM in China. There is no changing that. You just have to get the eight gigabyte version. There are no options. The Xiaomi Mi 9, in China it comes with six or eight gigabytes of RAM. The Mi 9 I'm using in this test has six gigabytes of RAM. The P30 Pro, obviously, it's the only option that we can get in China is the eight gigabyte version. Obviously, with the P30 Pro having two whole extra gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna have to expect that the Huawei is going to beat the Xiaomi in this test. Two extra gigabytes of RAM is going to help the Huawei not necessarily in the first round, but probably in the second round. You'll see that the Huawei probably has to reload fewer apps than the Mi 9. Having said that, this is a good opportunity for you to see if a couple of extra gigabytes is really worth it for you. Let's bear in mind that the starting price for the Xiaomi Mi 9 is a lot, lot lower than the P30 Pro starting price. In China anyway, the P30 Pro is about one and a half times expensive as the Mi 9. And there we have it, the Mi 9 has actually finished the first round before the Huawei. Four seconds quicker for the Mi 9 on round one than the much more expensive P30 Pro, but Round two is upon us, and here is where I expect that few extra gigabytes of RAM to kick in and give us a quicker round two in the P30 Pro as opposed to the Mi 9. But why don't you just see how close they are and see if all of that extra money is worth it for you. Round two finish time for the Huawei 202, so it is quicker than the Mi 9. Those two extra gigabytes of RAM have helped. 94, 95 degrees that processor is running at. It's a pretty hot score that. And the Mi 9 has just finished two minutes 16. Not a slouch by any stretch. Two extra gigabytes of RAM and almost double the price. 
just beats the mean iron by a few seconds and look 92 degrees that snapdragon is keeping much cooler than the kirin i would say that we can be pretty sure that that snapdragon is a much better performer overall than that kirin 980 in the huawei Let's just open some apps simultaneously side by side and see if there's any differences. This is Billy Billy here, it's a video app and maybe the Mi 9 was a bit quicker but they were about the same. Three, two, one, go. This is Taobao here, again they were very very similar. I would say there's no difference between them there. Three, two, one, go. QQ is a music app. Funnily enough, they've both loaded exactly the same advert. Chinese apps just have so many adverts. Three, two, one, go. This is Subway Surfers. It's a game, it should tax the system a little bit more. Oh my God, they're exactly the same. Absolutely nothing between them. Three, two, one, go. Very interested to see which one loads PUBG first. Looks like the Xiaomi is actually loading this one quicker. Now obviously the screen is a little bit bigger on the Huawei so it might just tax the system, tax the processor just that little bit more. In terms of resolution on both of these screens, there's literally nothing between them. So the screen should not have much of an effect. Three, two, one, go on Baidu. It's a web-based app. They were exactly the same time opening those. Three, two, one, go. This is Erlama, the takeout app. Maybe the Huawei was a bit quicker, but really there's, there's nothing between these two phones. Last one, three, two, one, go. Camera app, again, really nothing between them. Nothing that's gonna make any big difference when you're using the phone day to day. The Wi-Fi test is a very important test because it doesn't really matter how quick your processor is, most of the apps that we use are relying on the internet to load their data. Now, I couldn't run both of these tests at the same time, just in case one influenced the other. They were run one after the other. There was only a few seconds between them. But look how much quicker the data comes in on the Huawei. It's not much of a surprise for me because Huawei manufacture a lot of their own modems and I'm sure they have a lot more expertise, whereas Xiaomi are obviously buying in modems from other people. Without knowing exactly where all the parts come from, it's a pretty big difference between the Huawei and the Xiaomi here. So what is this speed test actually telling us about the usage of these phones? Which one is going to be smoother and better just in normal everyday usage. Which one is gonna give you the better user experience? Well, the fingerprint sensor on both of them was literally exactly the same. I couldn't tell them apart. I had a few instances where it just didn't recognize my fingerprint. That was on both phones. When I first got the P30 Pro and I was testing the fingerprint sensor, I thought it was a little bit slow. Now, I don't know how using it, over and over again affects the speed. Unlocking your phone and the speed of unlocking your phone is so important because it's the thing we do every time that we look at our phone. Both of these also have a face ID feature and a raise to wake. Both of those are ultra quick, lightning fast. As soon as you raise the phone to your face, it unlocks and is ready to go. I don't personally use that feature because I don't think it is incredibly secure, but it is definitely something that both use if you wanna use it. Just trust me, it is so incredibly quick. Something that really shocked and surprised me actually was just how much better in the tests that the Xiaomi seemed using the Snapdragon 855. Not only the Antutu benchmark, but the first round of opening the apps and also the way that it kept way cooler than the Kirin 980. This Snapdragon really impresses me. And just on this video speed test, it's pretty apparent that the 855 is a better chip than the Kirin 980. The difference in the Antutu benchmark was pretty stark between them. The Xiaomi getting one of the best scores and this getting a pretty average score. As you can see though, the extra RAM in the Huawei just gives you so much more speed with multitasking. The extra two gigabytes of RAM is going to speed up your daily usage experience by a lot. But 
you can get extra RAM in this one too. The price goes up a little bit, but it isn't anywhere near the price of this phone. What you're paying for with the Huawei, apart from maybe a bit of extra zoom with the camera, is the curved screen and the name. Also, the way that the Huawei had much quicker download and upload Wi-Fi speeds is really interesting because pretty much anything that you're gonna do with your smartphone requires an internet connection. It doesn't really matter how fast your processor is or how much RAM you have. It really matters how quickly you can pull data from the internet to load the apps that you wanna use. This was just one quick test using that Wi-Fi test app, but the Huawei on the same internet had much quicker speeds. Overall, what can I say? They are so incredibly similar. They load apps at almost exactly the same time. Maybe one can be quicker than the other, depending on the heat of the processor, the heat of the environment. They are just so, so similar and almost impossible to tell apart. Maybe the biggest difference, considering that the performance is so similar, is the price, because you're paying a lower price for the Xiaomi, but getting pretty much exactly the same performance as the Huawei P30 Pro.